I believe that when loving has a reason, it becomes conditional. When love becomes conditional, it is not love at all. Three years ago, when I first met you, my first thought about you was, you make a good friend. Then I realized it is a good thing that we both love the Lord. Then I discovered that we think alike and we can be good partners in any kind of endeavor under the sun. But after months of knowing you, God made me realize the one thing that I have almost given up on. That you are that one person, the good wife, the lifetime partner, the soulmate that I've always been praying for. Yeah, you very well know how much I thank the Lord every day for you. My life was already good before I met you, but I didn't know life would be so much better with you in it. Oh, how blessed I am to be chosen and loved by a man who fears and loves Jesus. To my recollection, months before I met you, well, belakaw ko pagawas apartment, I was telling God, Lord, okay na po, dili maminyo ka po yung nasiging kasakitan. But nihirit pa ko and said, Lord, if naamagay kay hatag na ko, makabawagid ko kung siya na ang right man, if he will lead me closer to you. It was a random yet honest prayer. And then you came into the picture. You are indeed my answered prayer. I was amazed of how you were so concerned with my quiet time and even asked how long do I spend my devotion. I was rebuked but at the same time motivated to even spend more time with the Lord in prayer and devotion. Since then, my journaling came alive again. been faithful in this relationship and in our lives. Yeah, in order for me to truly love you, I vow to love God above you and above everyone else. God, today, I make these vows to God and to you as a husband. I vow to always love the Lord so that I will always love you more than myself. I vow to seek the Lord first so that I will always seek your needs before my own. I vow to always pray to God so that I won't forget to pray for you, for us, and for our future. I vow to always remember the Lord's forgiveness so that I will always be forgiving to any of your future shortcomings, including our upcoming failures together. We love because He first loved us, as written in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. For me, this is not just a mere reason of why we love, but the very beginning of its existence. Thus, I can say that the reason for love is love itself. And with this, I want to say, I love you because I love you. And I love you more than you will ever love. 